Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when touch screen is not working on your Dell computer. Now the first step is to enable the touch screen in device manager. So you can go ahead and type in device manager in Windows search box and then open device manager or you can make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager. Now over here you have to go ahead and expand human interface devices. So click on this arrow and expand human interface devices. Now once you expand it you will find HID compliant touch screen. So you have to go ahead and make a right click on HID compliant touch screen. Now if HID compliant touch screen is disabled, you, when you make a right click, you will see the option which says enable device, click on enable device. And once this is enabled, you can go ahead and check your touch screen. The next step is to calibrate the touch screen. To calibrate the touch screen, you can go ahead and type in calibrate in Windows search box. So go ahead and type in calibrate in Windows search box and then click on calibrate the screen for pen or touch input and after that click on calibrate and go ahead and calibrate the touch screen. Now still you are facing the problem then you can go ahead and update the system BIOS and chipset from Dell website. So go to browser and then go to Dell website that is dell.com slash support and then Enter the service tag number of your computer and then click on search or you can click on browse all products and then select your laptop or desktop and then select your series from here. Make sure that you select your series and then once you select your series, select your model number. I have selected random model number. Now go ahead and click on drivers and downloads. And over here you can see the option which says detect drivers, click on it and it will go ahead and check your computer and if there is any pending update it will let you know and you can go ahead and download and install that particular driver. Also update your system BIOS to the latest version. So here you can see the category option, click on it and then click on BIOS and click on this download option and once the download is complete, run this exe file and follow the on screen instruction to update your BIOS. Now before you update the BIOS, make sure if it's a laptop, make sure the battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. And disconnect all the external devices from the computer. So if you have any external hard drive, flash drive, anything connected, go ahead and disconnect all the external devices and update the system BIOS. Now during the BIOS update, your system will restart and when it's restarting, when it's updating the BIOS, do not turn off the computer or do not cut off the power supply. Once the BIOS update is done, you can go ahead and log into your computer and then you can go ahead and check your touch screen. Now still you are facing the problem, then go ahead and install or update the touch firmware. Now again go to Dell website. So go to dell.com slash support. Enter the service tag number of your computer or you can click on browse or products and select your desktop or laptop, select your model and then select your series. Make sure you select your model number from the list and then go to drivers and downloads, scroll down and you have to go ahead and update the firmware, you have to go ahead and install the firmware. So here you can see panel firmware update, you can install this and now scroll down and here you can see Dell firmware update. Now when you click on it, now if I see the full driver details, here you can see it's, it is the driver for LCD touch LCD panel. So go ahead and Download this file. It will download the exe file. Now once the download is complete, click on it. Click on yes. Click on continue. Click on OK. And then click on OK. And after this, it will go ahead and install the firmware update for touch. 
now once it's uh, when it's installing do not touch the screen and once that is done restart your computer and then you can go ahead and take and uh, check your touch screen now for few model number for different model number the process may be different so go to again go to dell website i'll show you for some other model number I'm just selecting random model number. Make sure that you select your model number. Now for few model number, you can see this option, uh, this driver that is LCD touch recalibration. Click on it. And you can go ahead and click on download. And this will download a zip file. You can click on show in folder, go, go to the download location, make a right click and extract this. So click on extract to LCD touch recalibration and it will be asking for the password. Now the password for this is break fix. That is B R E A K F I C F I X break fix. So you can go ahead and type in break fix and then click on OK. And then it will uh, you can see the folder which says LCD touch recalibration. Open this folder, open this Windows 8, Windows 10 folder and then run this REK exe file and then it will go ahead and just click on continue and it will go ahead and recalibrate the touch screen and then you can go ahead and restart your computer and then ch check your touch screen. Now if nothing is working still your touch, uh, touch screen is not working in that case you can go ahead and run the support assist test for touch screen so you can go ahead and type in support assist in window search box and then click on support assist now in case if you don't have uh, support assist install on your computer in that case you can go ahead and copy this link and then you can open this website it will take you to dell website and from here you can go ahead and download support assist and once support assist is installed you can open support assist and then you click on troubleshooting and then you can click on I want to troubleshoot my PC and then click on I want to check a specific piece of hardware click on it and once it will go ahead and um, you know detect all the hardware and go ahead and run this um, test for uh, touch screen now while running the test for touch screen if you receive any kind of error message you can contact dell and they will let you know you know what needs to be done so one of the steps should definitely help you to get the touch screen working on your dell computer so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel